What's up? My name is Technobber here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to update your controller firmware for official Microsoft Xbox controllers, whether it's Xbox One, Xbox Series, Series X, Series One, Series Two, Three, whatever they are, there's a bunch of different numbers, they all update in the same way. And for that, you'll need a PC and a cable. Usually wireless controllers are the ones that will need updates, but some wired controllers do have some firmware in them as well and may need updating too. If you have a wireless controller, you'll likely need a USB-C or micro USB cable to connect it to your PC. With all that out of the way, how do we actually update the firmware on our controllers? Well, it's very simple. For official Microsoft controllers, you can head across to the Windows Store or the Microsoft Store and then search for Xbox Accessories. When you do, you'll see a program that looks like this, Xbox Accessories. Simply click Get, Download or Update in the top right corner here. And when it's done installing, click the button once more to open it up. Otherwise, you can search for it on your start menu. When you see a window that looks like this, all you need to do is make sure your controller is connected to your PC. If it's a wireless controller, you may not be able to update over Bluetooth. Instead, you may need to connect the cable. When it is connected, you can scroll across to it, wait for it to load, and then click the three dots here right below configure. When you do, you'll see an update now button, and you can see the current firmware version here. Clicking update now, it asks us to connect it with a cable, so continue, and now it'll start updating. Then eventually when it's done, the controller will restart and reconnect to your PC with now updated firmware. Clicking next, you'll see not much has changed, but the firmware version has likely changed up here. It'll also say no update available. If you have multiple controllers plugged in, you can navigate between them here on the list. Otherwise, when it's done updating, unplug the cable, and plug in your next controller you'd like to update the firmware for. It's super simple, easy to do, and that's really about it for this very quick guide. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!